Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick tip for those of you that may be thinking of upgrading to HTX version 2.11 or later. Something called 2.11. Now there was some major changes in HTX 2.11 around the Lua stuff. What they did was they increased the version of Lua to 5.3, which means that some of the older Lua scripts will no longer work with it. And lots of developers have already kind of figured out, because 2.11 has been out a little time now, of how you need to kind of get that done. Bottom line, Lua scripts that publish the Lua C source code that's compiled on the radio should be fine, like the iNav one, for example, and they actually have now notes about that in the release notes. But Lua scripts that are only available as pre-compiled scripts will probably need to be tested. You need to check the release notes for the Lua scripts that you use before you upgrade to HTX 2.11 or later to make sure that they're still going to work. Although this is a little painful now, it could be a good thing in the long run, as developers won't need to keep producing pre-compiled Lua scripts for HTX, OpenTX, Ethos, and different radio setups. Watch out though, HTX 3.0 might break things again in Lua land, so the entire API might change as it is being scheduled to be overhauled and consolidated. So in summary, HTX 2.11 brought a significant leap in Lua scripting capabilities by embracing things like LVGL for richer, more consistent UIs and better cross-platform support. However, this major structural change necessitated script updates for many users, leading to temporary compatibility challenges. That results in lots of errors. So if you upgrade and you find that the Lua scripts that you were using before on HTX 2.10 is no longer working, then go and have a look at the download area for your Lua scripts. They'll probably need updating. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.